something shoots, boop, you know, they're going to want to all run up and bunch up with one another, okay? And that's when people start falling off on us. But folks, if you're already uh, nose to butt, and if they get spooked, they have no place to go, okay? So the big question is, how do we keep our mules up with one another? Well, with this little device right here, each one of you will get one of these, and we expect you to use it, okay? What's this called right here? Squirt. What else? Whip what? persuader? Whip. Oh, right. Right. Riding crop. Absolutely crop. right, guys. This is a whip. Okay, so when you do this, if you raise and lower it just like this, that is ineffective right there. <laughs> These things have two leathers because they need to make a sound. They need that snap. If you're not getting that snap out of it when you're using it, they're not going to pay attention to you. So you don't need to look back when you motivate. Just reach. Just reach back like that. And it should sound something like that. You need to do it hard. Just assume that when you need to motivate, you're going to do it 20 times in a row. <laughs> Just assume that. Because 99.9% .9 of these guys, it's not. Oh, they're not a one and they catch up. You have to keep using this until you are caught up right about here. You don't want any gap bigger than this, guys. So you're going to stay on those motivators all day long. It is a requirement of the ride. So if you think that you might not want to motivate or you have a moral problem with motivating your food, I have Delilah. Oh, awesome. Yep. So, uh, there's Twinkie and Kurt right there. What's that? I'm telling the camera there's Twinkie and Kurt. <laughs> Go to All right. All right, Dusty, let's go. Dusty. Come on, guys, let's go. Motivate, Dusty. Have a great ride. Thank you. Thanks a lot, John. Hey, you guys have a great ride.
And please do start drinking water at every stop. Judy is going to come around and check fishes. Mine's not straight out, but he's... Probably saying that a little too early. Yeah, I was gonna say this is the easy part of the trail. You don't start getting jacked, you're more fun to You know, uh, three years ago when we were here, we saw a whole bunch of mountain goats. Yeah. Right? Wow. That real steep place yeah. for the tunnel. That's cool. Mountain goats to the right. Oh yeah. I think mine's concentrating. All right. Tried to nibble. Is he? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Past, you're going to be 
able to see things like a little coyote, a snake, a lizard, a little turtle, dotted spiral, even some handprints towards the top. So I'm going to try to go kind of slow until everyone's past that. You can see it as you approach it, but the spot where you can see it the best is when you're right under it. I'll be sure to point. You should look right up at it. It's pretty fascinating that this is still here and in such good condition for us to see. All right, we'll cruise on past. Do y'all want to grab a drink of water real quick? I see some thirsty people. Yeah, I got to pee. <laughs> Don't worry, any more water. Nope. It means a little bit more today. Now, can you take your reins off real quick and, and double up the loop for your water bottle? Yeah, it seemed like it was. Yeah, it seemed to be coming done. Before. You should always have a double loop on your saddle horn with that water bottle. Don't ever take it off okay. while you drink because it will always end up on the floor. Guaranteed. <laughs> Yeah, seemed like that would be a tough one to reach. Yeah, it's really incredible.
Yeah, he did. down here. It was made of wood. It's not here anymore. But the water up top was not pure enough to develop photos or negatives. So once they took your photos up there, we would continue on our way. Then you'd see a little guy with a backpack running right past the mule train. That was one of the Cole brothers. And they would develop their negatives, print their photos, run all...